I wanna uh I wanna talk a little bit about feminism. I know y'all hear the leadership going over feminism. Y'all know what that is? Give me that definition right quick, uh soldier about feminism. Okay. All right, feminism. All right, you read that off. Feminism. I know y'all hear the bishop talk about it sometime. And um a lot of the captains, the deacons. Go ahead, officer. Feminism, the advocacy of women's rights on the basis of the equality of the sexes. So it's a lot of sisters that believe that uh the, the male and the the man the man and the woman is equal. Okay. But we believe the scriptures, okay? And this is what God say. You mean that in 1 Corinthians 11. So this is, we teach what the Bible say. The Most High got a strict order on, on the order of the household, the, the biblical order. And this is it. Uh, 1 Corinthians 11 started like, what, 2? All right, verse 2. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 2. Mm -hmm. Now I praise you, brethren. That you remember me in all things. Read. And keep the ordinances as I deliver them to you. Keep the what? The ordinances. Mm. Okay. As I delivered them to you. Read. But I would have you know mm -hmm. that the head of every man is Christ. So the head of the man is Christ. The Christ is our head. Okay. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. And y'all have heard us read this many times. The head of the woman is is the man thus said the lord so the man is to rule over the woman okay read and the head of christ is god and the head of christ is god read every man praying or prophesying mm -hmm. having his head covered uh -huh. dishonoreth his head so if we if we up here bringing out the bible mm -hmm. with our head covered we dishonor our head we saying we don't believe that right. read but every woman that prayeth or prophesieth mm -hmm. with her head uncovered mm -hmm. dishonoreth her head. So if, if a woman come in here and say, look, I ain't covering up my head. She's saying she don't believe the order that God has set up. So guess what we tell her? Well, you don't believe what we believe. Mm -hmm. So you got to leave. Okay. And it's just that simple. Okay. Read. For that is even all one as if she were shaven. So what he's talking about. If the woman don't want to cover up her head, cut her hair off. Cut her hair off. And then she's going to cover it up then because she's going to be shamed. Mm -hmm. Read on. For if the woman be not covered, mm -hmm. let her also be shorn. Mm -hmm. But if it be a shame for a woman to be shorn mm -hmm. or shaven, mm -hmm. let her be covered. If, if it's a shame for you to be bald head, you need to cover your head. Okay. Verse, uh, verse 8. Verse 8. Uh, verse 7, I'm sorry. Verse 7. Huh? For a man indeed ought not to cover his head. Right. For as much as he is the image and glory of God. You hear that? The man is created as the image and glory of God. Mm -hmm. Okay? That, that's a part of repentance right there. When you say you're going to repent, you got to see you got to see the black, Hispanic, and Native American man as, in the image of God. You can't be like, oh, he's just a nigga. Mm. Oh, nigga, uh, nigga, uh, pay my bills, nigga. You can't be like that. That's what the worldly woman think, right? Mm. But a repentant Israelite woman, she ought to understand the order. Okay, read. But the woman mm -hmm. is the glory of the man. Read. For the man is not of the woman. The man is not of the woman, read. But the woman of the man. So we got to keep reading this, and sisters got to... Uh, have to repent of of how they thought in the world okay because i know you know tv america teaches you that you equal okay but according to god we are not equal the man is to rule over the woman mm -hmm. now what paul getting this from he getting it from the book of genesis did we finish that and we're gonna go to genesis 3 uh yeah read read verse 8 again verse 8 mm -hmm. For the man is not of the woman, Read. but the woman of the man. Read. 
Neither was the man created for the woman, mm -hmm. but the woman for the man. The woman was created for the man. The woman was created for the man. Now, that that mean we're supposed to treat our wives evil? No, that's what he's not saying. But it's an order. It's an order that is set up. The man is the rule over the woman, okay? And if you out of that order, you can't get the kingdom because you're not, you're not, you're not falling in the order of Christ. Remember, Christ said he's going to purge out the rebels. You go, you you make it to the wilderness, and you want feminism, you're going to be purged out. It is what it is. All right, give me that in Genesis 3. Genesis 3 and 16. The book of Genesis, chapter 3 and verse 16. Uh-huh. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow. Mm -hmm. In thy conception, in sorrow, thou shalt bring forth children. Read. And thy desire shall be to thy husband. Your desire is supposed to be to your husband. Read. And he shall rule over thee. He shall rule over thee. What do you mean by ruling over thee? Meaning he is the head of everything. You go to him. You go to him. You do what he say. Okay. Now, does that mean your husband going to treat you evil? No, that's not what it's talking about. But he is the head. Did we finish that? Okay. Now, what when you when when a woman when you when you out of that order, you out of order. Go to uh, Isaiah three, Isaiah three and twelve. The prophet Isaiah was getting on them, on the Israelites because we were out of order. Isaiah three and twelve. The book of Isaiah, chapter three and verse twelve. Mm -hmm. As for my people. Mm -hmm. Children are their oppressors. So if you let your children rule over you, children are oppressors. That's out of order, read. And women rule over them. You hear that? And women rule over them. He's getting on them because they out of order. The woman shouldn't be ruling over the man. Now you got some, what you call them, beta males that let the woman rule over them. Mm -hmm. but, but you need to repent from that, brother, if you, go, if you rolling in that spirit. You need to be the head of the woman. Okay, did we finish that off? Mm -hmm. All right, read. Oh, my people, mm -hmm. they which rule, they, I'm sorry. Oh, my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err. You hear that? If somebody pushing that right there, they causing you to err. And you can't get the kingdom running with feminism. It ain't going to go down like that. That's part of repentance. You got to say, well, hold up. I used to be like that. I used to be a, a beta male, but now I'm an alpha male. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ain't that it, off? Mm -hmm. I read. And destroy the way of thy path. You hear that? And destroy the way of thy path, meaning you ain't getting the kingdom. That's that's out of order. That's not according to God right there. All right, go to uh, Sirach 33 real quick. I want Sirach 33 and 19. And I want that one in uh, Revelation. The book of Sirach, chapter 33 and verse 19. Mm -hmm. Give not thy son and wife, thy brother and friend, power over thee. The most High talking to the men right here. The men. Don't give your children power over you. Don't give your wife power over you. Did I finish that? Mm -hmm. All right, read. While thou livest. Mm -hmm. And give not thy goods to another, mm -hmm. lest they repent thee. Read. And thou entreat for the same again. Mm -hmm. Read. As long as thou livest and hast breath in thee, mm -hmm. give not thyself over to any. Read. For better it is that thou children should seek to thee mm -hmm. than that thou shouldest stand to, thy, to their courtesy. Read. In, all, in, all works, in all thy works, keep to thyself the preeminence. Read. Leave not a stain in thine honor. You hear that? If if you if you letting a woman rule over you, your kids ruling over you as a man, you you living a stain on your honor. And you know we're gonna be talking about you, man. That brother weak as hell. <laughs> brother weak as hell, bro. The woman done put him out the house. Simp. simp. Nigga, you gay. Yeah, simp brother. <laughs> the wife done put you out the house. That's why when 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 a sister if a sister own a home and say she wanna get married, what 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 advice we get a brother? He need to be on his, his his name need to be on the uh, deed, deed. Mm -hmm. okay. 
So that's why we tell your sisters, prove a friend. Prove a friend. Because when you saying you want to marry this man, you saying you finna cover your head for the man. You finna say that he is your head. Now, nah, does that mean a man pull to treat you like a slave? No. Nah. Because when, when the black woman hear that right there, what they say? I ain't finna be no, I ain't finna slave. Be no slave. I ain't finna be no slave. Give me that in Ephesians. Give me that in Ephesians about uh, treat your wife like your own flesh. What that is? Ephesians 5? Uh, you know you got what I want because I don't know it. Yes, sir. All right, read that. The book of Ephesians, chapter 5 and verse 28. Uh-huh. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. You hear that? Men supposed to love their wife like their own body. You going to bust yourself in the eye? You going to bust yourself in the back? No, you supposed to love your wife like your own body, read. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. You hear that? You you going to uh, lotion up your legs and ain't going to buy your wife no lotion? <laughs> now your wife got ashy legs? No. You're going you gonna, to you gonna treat your wife like your own body. But the order still remains the order. The man is the head. It is what it is. I'm just bringing that out because the leadership, is a lot of sisters uh, don't like that. Okay. They want to alter the garments and all that stuff. Want to change this. Want to change that. That's why the leadership, y'all don't know what they hear, all, what they have to go through all the time. So that's that's why they be like, no, don't you want to alter the garment? Stay at home. So it's a lot of sisters with that spirit of feminism on them. Okay. But when you say you repent, you supposed to fall in that order. You supposed to fall in line with that order. Because according to the scriptures, you ain't gonna get the kingdom. If you in that, if you want to rule over the men, you ain't gonna get the kingdom. It, it ain't gonna happen. Cause God ain't then ordain a woman to rule over no man. You know it is what it is. All right. Uh, give me that First Corinthians fourteen. First uh, Corinthians fourteen thirty four. The book of First Corinthians chapter fourteen and verse thirty four. Uh huh. Let your women keep silence in the churches. Now. Nah. Is that talking about a woman can't say, hey, sis? No. You can say, hey, sis. But when you get up here sitting at the leadership table, it's a problem. Mm -hmm. It's a problem. It's time for me and officers to, to, to throw you out the table. <laughs> you trying to rule over the men now. Read again. Let your women keep silence in the churches. Read. For it is not permitted unto them to speak. Okay. Read. But they are commanded to be under obedience, mm -hmm. as also said the law. So the women are commanded to be under obedience, thus said the law, the Lord. Did we make this up? Mm -mm. No, we didn't make that up. All right, give me Revelation 14. Just bringing this out because, the, you know, they had to put an order out about the garment. Because you tell a sister, leave the garment alone, the sister changed the garment. And then somebody come to your sister's garment look tight on you. Oh, what, what, what are you trying to say? The garment look tight on you because you altered the garment. Right. Stop messing with the dang garments. Mm -hmm. They made to fit loose like that. They made to fit loose mm -hmm. because uh, you're supposed to be modest. You don't want to cause no brother on this side of the room to be looking at you. That's why the garment's made like that. But you get sisters calling original royalty. This garment ain't right and all that stuff. It's a fundraiser. Good Lord. Trying to keep everybody in order. That's why I be saying about sisters complaining about the food up in here. We, we try to get some chicken to pay the bills up in here. You talking about the chicken cold. Well, we try to provide a good product for you, though, sis. All right. Where we at, bro? Uh, 14 and 4. Yeah. The book of Revelations, chapter 14 and verse 4. Mm -hmm. These are they which were not defiled with women. So the men that's going to get the kingdom are not going to be defiled with women. Deacon did a class last week about don't be no Mitch. Mm -hmm. So ain't no Mitch going to get the kingdom. Okay. Now, look, I treat my wife good, but I run the house. You know what I'm saying? If we, if we ain't finna do this, we ain't doing that. It is what it is. You know, she buck up sometimes, but I say, look here, woman. I run this right here. Yes, sir. That's right. 
Uh, sometimes, you know, I let her get what she wants sometimes. You know, I ain't no brick wall or nothing, you know. But when I ain't having it, I ain't having it. <laughs> she poke her lip out and all that. It's okay. It's all okay. It's all good. <laughs> what about you, Walt? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, all ain't right. no way, boy. All right, that's, that's all I got, y'all. I just, you know, it, it's crazy that the leadership had to keep getting on. It seemed like the y'all don't, y'all don't hear all the stories that the sisters be doing, though, in these other camps. Y'all just hear what the leadership be doing. But the sisters be doing all kind of stuff, you know. So make sure y'all don't get that spirit about, oh, the men doing us so wrong. Because how many of y'all got done wrong in this chat? Keep it real. How many of y'all, uh, I did something to I came to your house, went in your refrigerator. <laughs> How many of y'all, I was even went in, came to your house, went in your refrigerator? None of y'all, right? So who did you wrong? Nobody did you wrong. Okay. All right, that's all I got, y'all. <laughs>